All right, it's going to feel pretty fabulous for those football games later on as well. At kickoff, yes, still a little hot, 87 degrees, but it will feel like it's actually 87, which is a big improvement. So if you were out at any local games yesterday and you have another one today, it's going to be very similar conditions, right? So we'll have clear skies, light and variable winds. The wind will be calmer today than it was yesterday. And look at this, by the time the games are ending, temperatures falling into the 70s. Sunset will be at 720, so it will feel pretty cool once the sun goes down. We do have a chance to hit the 60s once again overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Our wind will be shifting back out the southeast over the weekend, but it stays pretty light and variable uh, through the morning. But we've got 5 to 15 mile per hour winds, so not too gusty out there. Great for some fishing and surfing. However, we've got coastal flooding to talk about. Drier air filtering in uh, in between an upper level low, which is merged with Helene and high pressure off to the west. That is filtering in the dry air. That will still be with us for the most part through Sunday. But we start to see that push of air coming down the plains, weakening our onshore flow starts to return. And then we have a chance for some tropical moisture to return as we head into the end of next week. So by Thursday, we're talking moisture back in place. And additionally, we are watching for a chance of development there in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. So once again, there is a low chance of development. This is new. So here's Helene. It's already made landfall. Powerful category four storm at landfall. Now a tropical storm as it continues to move inland, still strong 70 mile per hour winds. Actually, we've got the latest on Helene here. So you'll see 70 mile per hour winds gust up to 90 miles per hour as it continues to track inland across portions of Georgia, South Carolina, seeing the impacts as well throughout the day today, as well as portions of North Carolina. Wind does weaken by Sunday. We're talking 25 mile per hour winds associated with that remnant low, but still heavy rainfall flooding a big risk across much of this mountainous part of the country, right? And then also river valleys. So flooding going to be a concern. This is the Ohio River and then it merges with the Mississippi River right through here. You saw Texas though the gray map. That means little to no rain. Now we are still seeing an uptick in our surf, so rip current risk is going to remain high, possibly through Sunday, around Sunday morning. You can see though, the Gulf is going to start to recover now that Helene is inland. We're talking flat conditions out on the water by Sunday and Monday, but this is that next system, the wave action. The wave forecast, it's picking up. Here's a quick look at those tide times. High tide 219 or was 2.19 feet at 3.09 a.m. this morning. There was some coastal flooding, uh, minor coastal flooding where water was up to the dunes at the White Cap entrance there on Padre Island. As far as temperatures go, mid 90s through the weekend, but it's not going to feel excessively hot, but it will still be relatively hot for this time of year.